Hi, I'm Alicia Cole from Padme's Playhouse Quilting, and this week I'm working on a cathedral window wall hanging, which is super exciting to me because it just uses so many colors and it, just, it looks so beautiful when it's done. So, I'm going to be using the technique that's taught by Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I just love this technique because it's just so easy and it just turns out so wonderful. And of course you can use pre-cuts, which is pretty much what they're all about. And I love that too. But this is a great scrap buster. So I just went through my giant tote filled with <laughs> lots of fabric and I cut me a lot of five inch squares. Now you don't have to use five inch squares. That's just what I'm using today. But remember to be consistent. If you use five inches, everything has to be five inches. If you use 10 inches, everything's 10 inches, and so on and so forth. Um, with the five inch squares, for the size that I'm making is like a three block by four block. And I cut out 65 colored squares and 72 white squares. Now, if you want to change that into yardage, for the color, that's a little over a yard. You can get 63 five inch squares from a yard of 45 inch white fabric. And for the white, that's about a yard and a half. So, it just all depends on how many squares you wanna cut. And since I'm using so many different colors, honestly, you could just go and get a whole bunch of fat quarters or like I'm doing a whole bunch of scraps and just cut out as many as you can. <laughs> so, let me show you how to make this block because it is just gorgeous. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your 5 inch squares and you are going to fold them in half and then iron them. Because they just, they just stay, so that's nice. And for each block you are going to need four colored pieces of fabric or whatever colors you're using and then four white and you're gonna have the raw edges against the raw edges and your folded piece is gonna come into this middle and you're gonna put those on each of your colored blocks just like that and then you're gonna go over to the sewing machine and you are going to sew this like a four patch using a quarter inch seam. So you'll sew this one to this one, this one to this one, and then when you're done, you'll just flip it over and sew those together. So I have a couple of those done just to save time and they will come out looking like this. So, after you have this, I'll show you. You'll need another fabric square. And it'll go right in the middle like this, right in the middle of the diamond, and it'll line up with the diamond. And then to make the th cathedral window, you'll be folding this down, and you'll be sewing corner to corner. And you're just going to flip up each side and sew. But we're not going to do that yet because what we are going to do is we're going to sew up all of our blocks. And I have four right here done. But you're going to sew up all of your four patch blocks and you're not going to sew the middle in yet because this middle piece where they come together, you're also going to be putting a white in there and then it'll look like that and then you're going to sew these together and then after you have your whole thing done everything sewn together you're going to sandwich it you're going to have your batting and you're going to have your backing and then you're going to pin it all together and you're going to put all of your colored squares in
going to have all of your colors squares in and it's all going to be pinned together or spray basted together or whatever method you use. And then when you flip these and sew and it'll be on your sandwich, that will be your quilting. So after this step, you're done. Or after you sew on your binding, you're done. But it will just make such a lovely pattern on your backing. It'll be such a pretty quilt. It's just going to be gorgeous. So I'm going to go sew the rest of my blocks together. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to put everything together. And I'll show you what happens. Now I've got all of my sewing done, so I've sewed together all of my blocks and all of my rows, and what you get is a quilt top that doesn't have any of these color squares. It'll just be a lot of white. So then I took my quilt top, my batting, and my backing, and I spray basted them all together, but you could use the pinning method, whatever method you're comfortable with and then after that I just pin down my corners just in case I want to cover all my bases and then you're going to go through and you are going to pin your colored squares onto your white squares so you're just going to pin them or whatever you want to do just to make sure that they're held on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we are going to pull down these and we're going to sew right along this edge and we're just going to go corner to corner and we're just going to sew all of these up. And what that's going to do is that's going to create the cathedral window effect that we want. But it's also going to be creating the quilting effect on the back. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I will show you how to sew these white pieces down. Now we are just going to be sewing these down and one thing that I do want to mention is make sure that your sewing machine can sew through all these layers I'm sure that you've noticed if you've gotten to this point that this is a lot of layers for your sewing machine to be going through so just make sure that you're not going to be like breaking your sewing machine trying to go through all these so we're just gonna start at the top of this one, we're just going to pull this down and we're going to hold it. And then we're just going to sew right along this edge all the way down. once you get to this corner my sewing machine has a needle down position so if yours doesn't just make sure that your needle stays down you're just gonna lift your pressure foot and pivot over to this side fold this over the same way you just did you're gonna lower this and then you're just gonna continue sewing. And 
once you reach another corner. You're just gonna keep doing the same thing. Just keep pivoting, folding over. and sewing. Fight with it a little, apparently. Square that looks like this. So now we can take that out, and that is your finished square. So you're just going to continue that all the way around your quilt, and you'll end up with a very lovely quilt. So I'm going to go finish up all of my squares, and I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Hi, I'm back, and I have finished quilting and putting the binding on my cathedral window quilt. So isn't that gorgeous? I love how it turned out. Um, here's the back after you're all done quilting it and I think the back is my favorite because I just I love how this looks and it really puts a lot of texture into it. I just love it. So even though this is relatively small since mine is a while hanging, I put a hanging sleeve on it. And like I said, even though it's relatively small, it's like 35 by 27. Um, I wanted to do that full hanging sleeve instead of just the corners because I'm sure as you notice as you're making this, it's a lot of fabric and it gets a little heavy. So I made sure to put the hanging sleeve on it so it distributes the weight across the entire thing instead of just hanging it on the corners. And I believe that my next tutorial is actually going to be how to make a hanging sleeve. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and check back often for more tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.